Welcome to the first tournament of the 2011 season. I am your tournament director, Andy Smith, and we're going to check out some good fish catches today from our Rock Lake tournament on May 14th. First up, we got Kevin and Kurt. They are brothers, and they were fishing the marsh, getting fish coming in. Here's Kurt hooking up with a fish and Kevin grabbing the net. Let's see if it'll help. They were catching fish back to back and doubling up. As Kurt unhooks that fish, Kevin sets a hook on another fish. Kurt throws his fish away. It did not help. Grabs the net for Kevin. And that looked to be a better quality fish. Kurt hooks up again. Kevin nets it. Let's see if this fish will make it. Kurt gets on the measuring board. And it looks like this fish might go in the box. Kurt and Kevin ended up with over 12 pounds on the day. Here's Kurt hooking up again. But again, it looks like another short fish. Getting fish over 15 inches and... Those three pounders in a boat were a tough thing for these these two. Here's another one of good hookups by Kurt. Kevin grabbing the net. Bringing the fish in. And it's in the boat. Looks like this one will go in the box also. Kurt and Kevin were fishing kind of the main channel as the fish were funneling back into the marsh. They had other competitors driving right past them, but they continued to hook up no matter how much boat traffic went in and out of this marsh. There's Justin and Charles driving past as Kurt hooks up again. Kurt and Kevin ended up in fourth place on the day. This one appears to be a pike, though. Right behind Kurt and Kevin was another Angler's Choice team. Here's them hooking up with a fish. But based on their urgency to get it to the boat, it looks like it's a short fish and not going to help their limit. Here's Kurt and Kevin doubling up on the day. Kurt brings his fish to the boat as Kevin does, but unfortunately both fish did not help their limit. Kurt and Kevin finished in fourth place on the day. Here's some other fish that were caught in the marsh and other anglers fishing in it. This is Adam and James also fishing incoming fish. They also had just over 12 pounds on the day. They finished in third place. Here's Mike and Robert. They were back in the back of the marsh searching for bedding fish. These two did bring in just over nine pounds, but unfortunately here's them sitting on a bedding fish. Mike hooks up, swings it into the boat, but it comes undone. That fish might have helped them. Mike and Robert were the Angler of the Years last year in 2010. Also fishing in the marsh are Ken and Sam. They also came in with just over 9 pounds.
The main lake, though, is where most of the money was won on this tournament, even though it was windy. Here's Brian and Trisha. Brian hooks up with a nice fish. And he swings it into the boat. But it doesn't look like it's going to help their limit. Brian and Trish finished with just over 11 pounds. And they did win the big bass of the day. They did find a 4.39 pounds largemouth. Here's Caleb and Dan. Caleb hooks up with a fish, but it appears to be a short fish. Here's Dan hooking up with a fish. The fish jump, but he manages to get it to the boat. Unfortunately, it's another short fish and did not help their limit. Here's Caleb hooking up again as Dan grabs the net. It looks like a better fish. Could help their limit. The fish jumps by the boat and unfortunately gets away. Caleb and Dan finished in second place with just over 13 pounds. And your big winners for the day are Dale and Kevin. They had just over 16 pounds with a smallmouth caught on jerk baits. We'd like to thank Moe's Southwest Grill on Pewaukee. They're just off of Capitol Drive. Please visit them. They have some delicious food. Also visit CrivetsLand.com. Great place for a vacation. Take your family. Go up there fishing, hunting. If you want to check out any other details, visit AndrewSmithFishing.com.